Yep. Change of location. We're in my hotel room in the middle of China. I'm currently in Guangzhou. Planning to spend the next couple of months here. Different location, different videos, different vibes. Bring it to you right now on TRG channel live. If you clicked on this video, you're probably looking for closure. This is probably why you'll never find it and why that's okay. I have the answers for you right now. So stay tuned for that. Let's face it, we've all been there before. Whether you've gone through a breakup, a firing, or being ghosted, whatever you've been through, you are likely going through the motions in search of closure. And I hate to break it to you, but it's very unlikely that you're gonna be able to find it. And here's why. It's human to seek closure. I recently had two friends that were in relationships, internet relationships with two people that they've never met. Needless to say, it ended up very badly. They were both ghosted. And one of my friends in particular was completely devastated by this response or lack of response. She couldn't function, she couldn't sleep, she couldn't eat. It was bad. She kept recycling in her head, why did this happen? Was I not pretty enough? Was I not smart enough? Why didn't he respond? Was I not flirty enough, good enough? Just the gambit of different kind of excuses rolled through her head. Her brain was overloaded. She kept asking me certain things to find some kind of closure. How could he do this? Why did this happen? How could he say these you know, hurtful things to me? Just everything really under the sun. She was seeking closure and it's likely that she'll never find it. That's the advice that I gave to her and it is the same advice that I'm gonna give to all of you. Rule number one, the world owes you nothing. You're looking for solutions from external forces that will never materialize anything. The world isn't here to serve you. It's likely that if someone could do something like this, like ghost you, they're probably not a good person to begin with. You're not gonna get the solutions and the answers that you want. Sometimes people are just assholes and we have to accept that as our reality. The silver lining is that we should give our time to the people that actually care about us, including yourself. You're worth it. Yes, you, watching this video right now. Rule number two, the never ending race. Even if we get closure, it will just never be enough. Think about why we want closure. We're seeking a conclusion to indicate that it wasn't our fault, that we didn't do anything wrong, and we were good enough. Even if you hear what you want to hear, it'll just never be enough. It's a never ending rat race. It's never gonna satisfy all the check marks for you to say 100% I can walk away from this right now. And it's very likely that the reason why you're seeking closure is because you were devastated in the first place. You're in a state of mind that can't really be repaired with any kind of immediate solutions or words. That comes from within. Essentially, it's a never ending rat race in our minds and our minds keep playing tricks on us and it keeps moving the goalpost forward and forward and forward. Rule number three, closure is in the eye of the beholder. We're looking for closure in all the wrong Places. Closure should come from within. What is within our sphere of control? What's going to help us get up in the morning? What's going to help us have a good night's sleep? What's going to help us function at work, remember to eat, to move on with our day, to move on with our lives? Those are the serious questions that you should be asking ourselves. How can I seek personal alignment? And I promise you that everything will fall into place after that. Ultimately, closure is something that's always going to elude us. It's like that never-ending chase for an answer that we're never going to get. It's that proverbial carrot that's dangled in front of us for all of eternity. I'm not a pessimist, I'm a realist. And the sooner that you come to grips with that, the better off you'll be. Closure should come from you and you alone. You need to ask yourself three things. What's gonna get me through the day? What's gonna get me through the month? And what's going to get me through the year? These are the only things that really matter to you. Thanks so much for watching everyone. If you like this video, please click that like button. Please help subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to save the world one click at a time, one sub at a time. I really can't do that without you. So I really appreciate you subbing. Uh, ring that notification bell. Write in the comments below about your experience with closure. Have you received it? Are you still searching for it? What was the situation that prompted you to look for closure? I wanna hear all about it. I wanna hear that hopefully some of this experience has been able to help you um, just get a little more peace of mind. I know it won't solve your problems, but even if it makes your life honestly 1% or 5% better, that is my goal. You know, that, that's what helps me get up in the morning to make these videos, have a good sleep at night. So I really want to hear from you. And stay tuned next week for another episode. I'm going to be releasing some vlogs from China just to show everyone what my experience has been like thus far. 
Hopefully it's entertaining for you. It is a little bit of a departure from what I usually do, but I will try to insert some nuggets about relationships at the end of it, just to keep the same theme that we're trying to do with this channel. Anyways, thanks so much for watching everyone. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Love you all. Bye-bye.